Tomorrow is the 45th anniversary of the first moon landing, and tonight one of the men who was on that flight is on a new mission. Here's ABC's John Donvan. That's one small step for man. There were two ways to see it, on the screen, blurry but close up, or just by going outside and looking up, knowing that the moon you were looking at just then had two guys gallivanting across its surface, leaving footprints. Either way, it was, to overuse terms, both out of this world and unforgettable, as these voices are telling you now. I was five years old, and my mom swears she got me up and she put me in front of the TV with my other 10 brothers and sisters. We were jumping in and out of the pool, uh, getting updates. Did they walk yet? What a day that was. All people responding to a campaign by this guy, Buzz Aldrin, the second man to set foot on the moon. Beautiful, just beautiful. Who wants to get people to remember. So the famous have been doing that, and the not so famous. I was sitting on the floor, glued to the family TV. And some who have no memory of it, but are inspired anyway. Buzz Aldrin, I want to be an astronaut when I grow up. It is said that half a billion people did come away with real memories. That's how many watched when you count, say, Berlin, Paris, Tokyo, and New York City, and Indiana, which is where Don Draper watched it. Okay, Mad Men, that's fiction. But here's the thing, this was not fiction. You know how? Tonight, go outside, look up, look hard. See, the footprints are still up there. John Donvan, ABC News, on Martha's Vineyard.